We're going live. Hey, Internet, if hey. you're still there, we're back. Yeah, uh, we're back. And uh, for our audio podcast listeners, you got like a little behind the scenes yeah. action there as we yeah, came there. came back. Uh, we just, Kyle just plugged Extra Life. Oh, and hey, Nathan's calling Epic us. Fail. Crazy's back. Hey, Crazy. Why? Why crazy is... said that it's the it's the bees causing the power outage. I, well, Nathan. The back. Nathan. Yes, we know. We're here. Crazy. Can you hear us, Nathan? The IT guy fixed it. Mm-hmm. Nathan. Uh oh, we lost Nathan. Hopefully, we didn't lose the internet. No, I don't think so. I think we just lost Nathan. It's okay. We'll he get... doesn't know what happened. No, he's probably just like, oh, you guys left me hanging out there. This happens sometimes. Hey, Nathan. Hey. Oh, Nathan. Uh, <laughs> the internet broke, and we lost you. Yeah. Epic fail. And I, I would like to say, uh, if you don't want that to happen, please uh, you know, subscribe to our Patreon <laughs> yeah, so that Patreon. we can maybe get some, some uh, redundant uh, internet connectivity. That'd yeah. be nice. Have a backup plan, you know. Be able to not be interrupted with stream yeah what we're doing i hope not every we had some newbies tonight and i hope they yeah. didn't leave yeah. uh, and i think we most lost them have been here before we've lost them i thought we've lost no, a couple of people kitty's back hey kitty uh <laughs> nathan, what, nathan what happened nathan? what is going on a gnat flew into my nose oh, oh i hate that i thought that the cat farted have you ever had it have you ever had it to where they got like stuck in your mucus like and you if you can feel it squirming as it dies no uh, that's gross. really gross ah uh, Anyways, we're back. We had technical difficulties. It's a bummer. We lost the people that were hanging out and watching the show, but we're we're glad that you're here. Everyone that's that's here now. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Uh, yes. Uh, let's. We had one more story we hadn't got to yet, so let's jump into that. It's uh comes from abc57.com. It says naked man hit in house with shovel arrested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, movie. there is a man that was naked running around his neighborhood. And it, it was, as you do, yeah, yeah, as you do on a um, Saturday he was night, covered in cuts, appeared to be on drugs. Investigators reported, and uh, he also refused to drop the shovel when he was asked. He he was walking around his neighbor's house. It's because you never drop the house. You never drop the. You shovel. never drop the shovel. Yeah, it's especially bad. in the shower. Um, mm -hmm. No, he 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 was hitting the his neighbor's house with a shovel. Um, the police arrived at the home. <laughs> they asked him to put. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, they asked him to do what? They asked him to put down the the uh, shovel. He refused. He, I, I guess, he left the neighbor's yard and crawled into his house. I don't understand why the police didn't didn't like tase him at this point. Yeah, because if it's something well, he had a shovel for a while. What is this guy right. on? Look, he's so happy. He's, he's just happy. <laughs> they, why didn't they take another picture? His eyes were shut, man. My shovel is so cool. I, I do want to say this was my story, and, and yeah. I almost thought about including this as a potential 404. Yeah, man. But there are so many right. other good cool. 404s. But that's like, that, it's like I'm just yeah. like hitting his shovel in his right. house, man. So the officers naked. followed him into his I'm house. Super naked. He started throwing chair. <laughs> he threw a chair at. Him. Then he threw the shovel so hard it knocked one of the officers over. <laughs> then, then he crawls up onto the empty, er, it in. crawls into an empty refrigerator and he starts thought, throwing things. Oh, he was probably worried it was going to yeah. blow up he the house. Right. The house blow up. Up. Yeah. Finally, the officers decided they were able to use their tasers, um, and they they caused him to fall out of the refrigerator. That's when he tried to eat broken glass. They said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jeez. you do. So they grabbed him, brought oh, him to geez. the hospital where he was treated and taken then to the county jail. Um, they they report that he thought that he was dreaming and didn't know where he was. He's been charged with multiple counts, including indecent exposure. And investigators say situations like this can be difficult for first responders given the physical and psychological conditions of the suspect. Yes, true. My God, lo look at him. <laughs> I Admittedly, I could see where he's coming from. That does sound like a thing I would dream. Yeah, Crazy Lake says maybe the guy did a bag of Sour Patch, sour patch Kid dust <laughs> like Kyle did last that, night. That very well could be. That might have been. Uh, my, my water tasted extremely sweet after that. He, uh, crazy Lake also offered some advice next time the internet goes down. He says maybe next time you guys can send puns and racist impressions via smoke signal. <laughs> yes. Follow the signal. Yes, that is is all we are is a, a pun and racist impression machine. Yeah, yeah he's got that. that pace. Kind of, that's kind of what we do. But this is a. 
<laughs> wow, that, that was, was really long. Signaling in mock Swahili. Yeah, that's true. That's that's true. Uh, this is a great segue into our into the four hundred four club, though. I must admit, you know, right? Right. right. No intelligence found. Does he know he's dumb? There's something seriously wrong with you. Wouldn't want to embarrass yourself in front of your fellow perverts. You don't deserve the air you breathe, buddy. Here's this week's nomination for the hardest 404-ing on the internet. All right, it's time for the 404 Club, and we have your nominations prepared for you somewhere. Did we? Let's, now let's that plug I'm thinking in. about people it. People can, can put in nominations, you right? You can put in your Send nominations. Us an email. Yep. Um, I was just thinking we never checked last week's. Did we never announce the winner? I don't think we yeah. announced the winner. No. Oh, oh man, it was Let the me... butt nugget smuggler. It was the butt nugget smuggler. Oh, oh okay. gosh, way to make it completely anti climatic. <laughs> oh, it was that one. We had to do a drum or something. Did I don't know. Did I... I mean, no, don't hit, don't hit it, Kyle. It was the butt nugget smuggler. Why is everything <laughs> in this web browser opening like gigantic? You, this there's something screwy happening here in the world. <laughs> This has been happening to me all night. It keeps getting bigger. It's the Matrix. It's fighting back. I have no idea. What, I don't uh, even care. What? We're not doing We anything. already announced the winner. Yeah. It's fine. The We're... Butt Nugget Smuggler was our winner. All right. Here's your first nomination. We got thumbs up over here. This comes from KMTV. Uh, this is local. It says... Uh... Well, it, it happened in Scranton. Oh, but it happened in Pennsylvania. Okay. It was just on our local news. It says here that... A uh, man arrested with 110 bags of heroin in, in body cavity. They're not Holy specifying whoa. which cavity. Could but, have been right. multiple, right? No, no they, they specify. One. Yeah. Uh, they say single, that a drug dealing suspect cavity. was found hiding 110 small bags of heroin in his Jeez. buttocks. They say that the 32 year old uh, Carbondale resident. Uh, Carbondale. If you watched The Office, you'd, you'd be familiar with that. That's where they looked for, for sweet potatoes. Um, he was arrested Thursday Fun in fact. another in another town that you would recognize and be familiar with if you watch Scranton. The Scranton. Ah. Um, the police conducted an undercover drug buy. It's also what you say to a stray cat that's been eating your cheese. Right. Scranton. Scranton. <laughs> <laughs> so they so just... they said that they found other drugs when they searched Davis after his arrest. Um, in so, his tooth cavities. In his teeth cavities. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, that's where he keeps his Novocaine. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a hundred and ten pounds. It was no, hundred and ten bags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which they're little bags, dime bags. Kind of like, kind of like the uh, on Narcos when they when they send them in with Is made it? the made the ladies swallow bags of of cocaine. Okay, to smuggle yeah. it into the U.S. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's the so this is the f- that's our first nomination. That's our first nomination. Okay, so uh, we'll just call him Butt Drugs. One ten Butt Drugs. One ten uh, Butt Drugs. <laughs> It's like an address. That's where that's where my dealer lives. I just meet him over at 110 Butt Drugs. Uh, so <laughs> this next story comes from TheGuardian.com. It says, Rodrigo de, Tir- de-, de Rete uh, vows to kill three million drug addicts and likens himself to Hitler. Yeah, this mm-hmm. guy's just nuts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are we, so are we able the, to play the, the video? President. Or is it one that we should avoid? Uh, I don't Hitler know. massacred three oh. million Jews. Yes, he did. Now, there is three million, there's a three million drug addict. There are. That was nice. They corrected yeah. his grammar and the subtitles. I'd be happy to slaughter him. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. At least if Germany had Hitler, the Philippines would have, but, you know, my victims, I would like to be all criminals. <laughs> I'd like all my victims the to be criminals. Finish of my country. And save the next generation from perdition. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's <laughs> some grief. dark stuff right there. This dude's like, so the well, you don't choose to, be, choose to be Jewish. You do kind of choose to be a drug dealer. <laughs> Jeremy's siding with this guy already. Rodrigo 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I, I, I mean, he made a bad reference, obviously. Yeah, he's just saying I want to be the the good, like like a good version of Hitler. Yeah. Is what he's trying to he say. He just killed know? the wrong people. Mm-hmm. You know? Sure. I, I would just like to fact check. Uh, Hitler killed six million Jews, not three million. Jews. Oh, but the, he yeah. just wants to kill three million drug addicts, and he's just like, well, yeah, sure, sure, right. Right. It, it's uh, it was lost in translation the the math equation, yeah. Um, I mean, 
this seems like this is way aggressive. I mean, if he was talking about drug dealers, maybe. But I mean, <laughs> Kyle's okay with it. But I mean, I, I mean, maybe, maybe yeah. that still seems like that's a little too far to just, just. I'm just gonna murder them all. <laughs> Crazy Legs has an idea that might, just, you know, maybe if maybe if he just bought them more drugs, they would end up killing themselves. <laughs> that's a good like point. that's pretty dark and messed up. But hey, that uh, is pretty yeah. dark and messed. Yeah. up. I thought it was interesting when he said, "I would like." All my victims. Yeah, if they're not, be, if, I mean. if they're to be drug addicts, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. I'm hoping that's just if, like if just lost. But I'm gonna get three million yeah. one way or the other. I hope oh, that I'm I, right. I took it as I would like my victims to be all criminals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah all funny. criminals. All right, so I think so Trevor. We're I think call this, this guy r- El Presidente. I was thinking uh, Rodrigo Hitler maybe would be uh, good. I had I had Hitler of the Philippines. Oh, so. okay. Oh, all right. I don't know. We we can go Rodrigo Hitler. I don't care either way. Whatever's fine. Whatever I don't remember what Kyle's was. Maybe his uh, mine was, was El Presidente. That makes no sense. That's, uh, he is the president. Uh, oh, okay, sure, it does make sense. Uh, this next story comes from Green Bay Press Gazette. It says police. I always get confused when they say this is a police. This is a police, police. report. I'm gonna stop reading the police colon. Uh, <laughs> police colon. <laughs> police colon. Uh, man stole Cleanse. cars to impress son. That's what well, you what do. What just happened to me? That's what. That's what. what? Man stole cars. To impress son. Yeah, this is great. Oh, more than one. Oh, good. This sounds like a real yeah. version yeah. of... So, of this like is amazing. A, ...of one of those movies where they're just like... Uh, of a, a, a comical movie of a father trying to get in touch with his long-lost son. <laughs> yeah, he's like... Yeah. <laughs> I think that was called... What was that Adam Sandler and Andy Samberg movie? Uh, bad Son, Good dad bad dad's back in town i don't know uh it's this See, that i was thinking it sounded like a side quest in a video game you have to impress your son by getting a call it doesn't matter how you get yeah. it yeah <laughs> well, let's, like let's get the story here yeah uh, police say that a 44 year old man told investigators he stole more than a dozen cars Ooh. from dealerships and auto deal- detailing shops to gain the respect of his meth addicted son <laughs> he said that uh, to gain com- his respect. Yeah. Right. He committed the thefts out of desperation to impress his 16-year-old son, whom Dart said is a- addicted to methamphetamines, admires people who live the thug life, and would no longer talk to his father. He said he created an alter ego for himself Heisenberg. that committed crimes so that his son would start talking to him again. That's, you know... Forget everything else we've said. This is the Netflix show. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty good Netflix we got, show. We got several shows that we're working on What here. if maybe, like... Th- Maybe the pigeon has a meth addict for a son. And he becomes and a spy the in gets order to impress... The, the then the pigeon gets, gets waterboarded. ...to impress his son by being thugged. And after the pi- pigeon gets waterboarded a, by, by, by a, a hurricane. Yeah, by Matthew, Hurricane Matthew. Oh, man. Uh, then he realized that his son thinks he's lame, and so he has to steal cars to impress his son. Anyways, so this guy, what happened to him? He went to jail, I He's, take it? Yeah, he stole him and his son vehicles got arrested. worth $250,000. Said more vehicles could be added to the complaint since they discovered several unidentified cars' keys in his brother's possession. Wow. Um, wow. Jeez. Now that's pretty wow. Weird. What are we calling this guy? I... I I'm struggling. I don't Best know. dad ever. Uh, cra- <laughs> Best dad crazy ever. Says, Respect me. Crazy says the only excuse for stealing a car is to impress girls, not your disappointment of a son. Uh, <laughs> how oh, about uh, uh, desperate dad? Uh, yeah, des meth dad. Uh, uh, just meth like you it. criminals. I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. I I'm I'm so stuck with this one. Too fast, too furious. Crazy says I <laughs> would, I would only steal a truck to make a hot tub in the bed and fill it with large plus sized women. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, crazy. He meant p. He spelled it wrong. Ph fat. Like, fat. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 He's going to affect the pH uh, balance of that hot tub. <laughs> Just put in meth, dad. Yeah, meth, dad. It doesn't have to be that Grand good. Theft Meth Dad. That's what Crazy oh, said. Grand Theft Meth Dad. Thank <laughs> that's you, Crazy. Actually, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. Glad we, we, know that, we know that you worked and you missed the first part of the show, but yeah. we're glad that you showed up because we needed uh, you the most Here's what it there. was. Yep. When he joined, the internet broke. Yeah. Crazy that's, uh, broke that's the internet. That's who we blame. He it's hi- all crazy. He small. hijacked it. Uh, that's what happens when you're crazy. Uh, all right. This next <laughs> story comes from coin.com. I'm sure that's their actual call letters of the station, but I'd rather call hey, them coin. Ryan. Uh, dot com. It says it would be great if they did that, and then it had like the Mario like coin yeah. sound. 
Uh, so it says here, Greshman teen girls use stun gun to steal pizza delivery. <laughs> yeah, a teenage girl and three of her friends attacked the police. Uh, er, the police delivery. The police <laughs> delivery man. Police. The police. The police. The police. Yes. They attacked the pizza <laughs> delivery man at Gresham Apartments complex, which sounds like is somewhere in Portland, Oregon. Mm-hmm. Um, the police say that Pizza Hut delivery at driver was attacked by four girls, three of whom are 17 years old and one of whom is 18 who used a stun gun to shock him from behind. He dropped the pizza and went back to his car uninjured. The girls took off with the pizza, but officers used a canine <laughs> to find them in a <laughs> unit no. in the complex. Go find the they pizza. They found Pizza Hut boxes and a stun gun. Police say the girls were the ones who had originally ordered the pizza, but told the driver the wrong address and set him up to go to the wrong place. Jeez. So they didn't have any money, but they had a stun gun. That, wow. that, what a... S- Stupid crime to do. I know, right? Yeah, do it at some it, other apartment complex, well, and the dog can't it, find you. Not to mention, <laughs> did, did, did they honestly think they were going to get away with this? Yes. Of course they well, did. That's why they did it. They, they gave them the wrong address. Of course they were going to get away oh, with it. Oh, yeah. yeah. If they, I mean, if they, think about it, sense. Trevor. If they already ate the pizza, they did get away with it. That's kind of true. <laughs> they, yeah. did, they did get away they're with gonna it. They're going to pay I mean, a lot more than $20 or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> But they did get that pizza for free. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, this is the, what do we call the Stun Gun Pizza? Stun Gun Pizza Girls. I like Stun Gun Pizza. Okay, okay. that's fine. All right, we're going to get that poll up there. And you make sure y'all go and vote, you hear? <laughs> All right? You, you, he, yeah. you, you hear? All right. Okay. We'll try to we'll we'll try to get that video up, too, so if you can you watch it later. If you don't vote, someone else makes the decision for you. Pepperoni Stunneroni is what yeah. Crazy Pepperoni likes. Pepperoni Stunneroni. <laughs> Did you already post <laughs> it? No, nope. I tell That's you. It. It's switching it up. Thank right. you, Crazy. I, I, but I tell you guys. That's it, better. Any vote, for the first, any vote for the first one, or not for the first one, is a vote for the second one. And any vote. No, stop it. Okay, just stop being political. All right, we're done. Just we're, shut we're, up. But the third one doesn't count because... Have an idea? I didn't know where to turn. Mail time! <laughs> you can email us at I want to get it, man, the tub.com. All righty. Mail time! It's email time. What is everybody laughing at? At cutting off Jeremy. <laughs> completely cut him off. <laughs> that was, that was planned. Uh, no, it was not planned. I paused intentionally. I had no idea if you were going to actually stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got one email this Eric week. Eric and I were in tune. Yeah, we got one email this week, and or two emails actually. Did There's we? Two, two There's emails. Another one? Or no, one email. No, one email. Yeah. All right, one email from Minutub fan, and His Royal Highness says, uh, <laughs> 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 "That's a callback, kids." Uh, people must know, so I'm assuming this is a question for the tub, so we can all answer. Uh, would you rather? I love would you rather's. Please send these in every week. This is my favorite type <laughs> yes. of question. Would you rather burp confetti or fart glitter? And I'm assuming so this is forever. This is for the rest this of your one life. At a time and no, well, not... just let's talk about it. What would you rather yeah, let's do? Talk about it. Let's, well, I think well, we all answer and then we talk. Well, about no, it. let's. What, go ahead, Nathan. What are you saying? I I put some thought into this and okay. I concluded if the glitter does not go through my pants, I would rather do that. If the glitter does go through my pants, I would rather burp confetti. Because you, people would know when you farted. <laughs> exactly. That's a I'll good see, point. I hadn't even thought about that. I was, I was going to say, I would say burp confetti because whether it goes through your pants or not. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. And then yeah. when you go and wash your pants, I mean, glitter, you glitter can't get is going to be all over your clothes. Yeah. So you're just going to be a glittery mess for the yeah. rest of your life. I'd rather burp confetti okay all over that. the place. See, I think I'm the opposite. I think I'd much rather fart, fart. glitter. Oh, yeah? I, I, Trevor I, wants to fart those pretty I, farts. I don't know. It's just something coming out of my mouth. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just something yeah, coming out Trevor, of my mouth. Yeah, but it's festive. It's <laughs> yeah. Okay, does it Well, fire? he just free- froze. Yeah, he did. We just lose the internet again. Did we? Oh, no, he's back. Oh, okay, good. I, I have you. I, my image was just frozen. Okay, good. Um, mm. No, I I guess if it's like projectile, like I shoot glitter out of my mouth more. You could it turn it into like a stick. game. That that I could be more okay with. You'd be like, instead of like blowing a burp in someone's face, you could blow a burp in someone's <laughs> face. Crazy Legs says, I th- no, I th- no. Th- oh, 
Let me fish for it. I'm a superhero, and that's how you fight crime. He's burping confetti. <laughs> yes. No, you go to a. You're the life of the party. Think about it. Crazy says, I think the glitter farts would cause quite a mess at your local public works department. Those poor people are already underpaid. Yeah. Uh, I I don't. Well, I mean, when glitter hits water, does is that really a problem? Like it's art. It's kind of wet. Doesn't that control it for the most part? I think I all think the public restrooms. It's going to cause a problem in the plumbing. It's just going to make things sparkly. Yeah. So once they, I think it'll be all right. I I don't know. I'm I kinda think they'd t- have to invest in public boudets at that point. I, I think I'm with Nathan on this one. <laughs> I feel like well, he's not talking about public restrooms, Jeremy. He's talking about the public works department. Oh, well, true. Nah, that's, yeah. That's like your sewage plant. Right. Uh, but I I think I would maybe I'm opposite of Nathan. I think I'd rather fart glitter if people could see it <laughs> <laughs> that's actually like, if people could see it i think i would yeah, i might actually if, it, if it's trapped if it somehow magically teleports out your pants and a little glitter fart like cloud comes out like <laughs> that wouldn't be terrible for me well, because, a non-sticky glitter because fart. we think about it most of the time when you fart like you you try to do it like kind of Stealthy, discreetly, Stealth, you know, like you try to, co- but like that one occasion when you're like, I could kind of crank one out here, you know, I could, <laughs> I could crack this, crack this glitter rat real quick, and like oh. I think that, I think that would be fun. Like I think people would be like, okay, that's neat, and like you get, you could decorate cakes with it, you could do, <laughs> you could do fun projects where you could like, you could draw little pictures with glue on the paper, like smiley faces, and then fart on that paper, and then so the kids would in be school there. learn how to make. Yeah. Yeah, it's cr- fart, arts, and, arts and crafts. Fart. They learn how to make art. It's farts and crafts time. <laughs> farts and crafts. Farts, farts and crafts, and crafts time. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much oh, fun. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I think, wouldn't want to be in I that think room. confetti out the mouth is. Yeah, the way I, to go. I think you guys are all wrong. Uh, what happens if you light a glitter fart? Does it big bang into Richard Simmons? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a, a holy explosion. I imagine it would, it would out your night, and then there would be little sparks. Yeah, that's it what would, I'm thinking. It would absolutely give a new meaning to crop dusting as well. <laughs> this is true. This is true. This is a true fact. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think we're a little divided here in the tub, but, you know, we can all have our own our own thing. You know, we can glitter fart or we can not glitter fart. There's a there's a can YouTube uh, video of learning how to fart glitter. Oh my gosh, that's okay. We're we not gonna we watch that. that. That's that's all. I think that's I if you have those pills. I can't imagine mm-hmm. it consists of much other than stick glitter in your butt, then fart. <laughs> like, Sounds think, like something your son would come up with. Uh, uh, he's pretty he's pretty creative like that. Uh, well, it's been real great to have you all here for the show, and we just. We wanna we wanna welcome y'all back next next week. At, at, you know the normal. We got our Wednesdays and our Thursdays at the 9 p.m. Mm. Uh, uh, crazy would like you to send send him that link, Jeremy. The fart. The fart. <laughs> the fart Look link. it on the internet. But now is the time that we leave you. We're gonna leave you with something that Nathan brought to the table. This cool guy that shoots music with his guns. Da, 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 da. It's been exciting. It's been an adventure. We love you. We're waving farewell now. Farewell, y'all. Uh, yes. We'll see you next week. Actually, we'll see you. S- Whoa, hold, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the hold phone. phone. Hold the, hold the, hold yeah. Hold I got to get real quick here. Uh, let, we'll let the music go. But yeah. uh, w- next, this is sun- the sun's almost shots. over. Sunday night. Sunday night, be here for our live stream of the debates where President Jeremy Holt is going to be debating Hillary, Rotten Clinton, and Dirty Donald Trump. So, uh, icky, icky Trump. Icky Trump. Be here for that and enjoy the show then. That's a special broadcast. And uh, Appreciate your vote. We'll see you all Sunday. Have a have a good 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 evening, and yes. uh, we'll leave you with a, a little more music here. Tonight, I'm Jeremy so. Holt, and I approve this message. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Go all right. This is special. And he shot it. This guy's got incredible rhythm. They don't show him reloading. He has to switch guns. He's got multiple guns oh, in front of him. Okay, that's what he's doing. Yeah, and he also has extra clips, but he's got multiple guns. Yeehaw!
I have to say one thing. There you go. They missed out an opportunity, though. What? There's an instrument called the glockenspiel. Yeah? They totally put it... Oh, the glockenspiel. I get yeah. it. That's funny, Trevor. Bye-bye. That's your cigarette.